Welcome to my seated practice to relieve back and neck pain. This will increase your arm and shoulder mobility, cultivate strength in the legs and improve fine motor skills. To begin, let's ease ourselves in the chair. Make sure your back is reinforced and comfortable. Support your feet if your feet don't reach the floor. You're welcome to place a cushion or a blanket behind you for comfort. Allow your hands to rest on your lap wherever it's restful. Close your eyes or keep your gaze soft. So we make the shift to our practice today. Allow your thoughts of where you've been to let go. And bring awareness now into the very base of your spine. Tailbone is pointing straight down to the earth. From here, begin to lengthen up through the spine. Lifting the sternum a bit. And let the shoulders be nice and comfortable. Lifting all the way up to the crown of your head. And for a moment, just sitting here like a mountain. Stable at the base, expansive at the crown. And feeling a breeze of breath. And bend your elbows so your hands are lifted up in front of your chest. Spread your fingers nice and wide and make a gentle fist not pressing so tight that your knuckles turn white spread them nice and wide and make gentle fists nice and wide and gentle fists nice and wide make gentle fists do a few more and your own tongue. Wide and make gentle fists. And with a really light fist, let's roll around our wrists. A couple of times in each direction. Loosening up those joints. And we'll let that movement come back into stillness. And we'll let the hands rest down in your lap. Now bring your attention into your feet. You might want to straighten your knees just a little bit. So you can flex the ankles and lift the soles of the feet off the floor, keeping your heels down just like we did with the fingers. Let's spread the toes and curl the toes. Spread the toes and curl the toes. Nice and wide and make gentle fists with the toes. Continue this. Spread the toes and curl the toes. Spread the toes nice and wide and curl them in. And let the toes just be neutral. And begin to windshield wipe your ankles. So the feet will arc over to the right and over to the left. Back to the right and back to the left. And come back to the centre. And reach out into the balls of your feet. And back to the heel and back to the balls. Let's do that a few more times. Lengthening the tops of your feet. through the balls and then reach through the heels and bring the feet back into a neutral position 
Now is the time we'll work with both the fingers and the toes. So bend the elbows, lift your hands out in front of your chest, flex the feet, lift the soles of the feet. So this time, see if you can spread your fingers and curl your toes. Spread your toes and curl your fingers. Spread your fingers and spread your toes. Curl all your fingers and the toes. And then release. And let's add a little more complexity here. So we're going to move the right fingers and the right toes as a unit and the left fingers and the left toes as a unit. Let's get ready. So spread the right, curl the left, curl the right, spread the left, spread the right, curl the left, curl the right, and spread the left and spread the right. Well done. Bring them back to neutral and just relax that down. And you like, we'll play with one more variation. This time, we're going to work on the diagonal. So we're going to call the right fingers and the left toes A and the left hand and the right toes will be B. Do the best you can. So spread A, curl B. Curl A, spread B. Spread A, curl B. Curl A, spread B. And just shake it all out. A little movement in the wrist and ankles. And let your hands rest on your lap. Bring your feet back so they're resting on the floor underneath your knees. And then just pause for a moment. So, continuing to sit nice and tall. If you find you're starting to fatigue, or starting to slouch. You might move your hips back just a bit. So you have the support from the back of your chair or your pillow. Right hand on the right thigh, left hand on the left thigh, and become aware of your shoulders. And invite the right shoulder to lift up in the direction of the ear. And as you do, let the left shoulder drop down toward the hip. Glide the right shoulder back, as the left shoulder will move forward. Right shoulder will drop as the left shoulder lifts. The right shoulder comes forward as the left shoulder goes back. It's kind of like pedaling with your shoulders. Just discover this movement for a couple of breaths. Detecting the spots where the movement feels pretty smooth. And maybe detecting those areas where the movement feels limited. If you find one of those places that feels more restricted, see what it'd be like to rest right in the stickiness. And with breath directly into the stickiness and see what happens. Maybe exploring the movement in the opposite direction. How far down the back do you feel this? Do you feel it in the front of your chest? Do you notice? Now let the shoulders come back into stillness. Now bring your palms together right in front of the chest as best you can. 
staying nice and tall in your spine. We're going to interlace the fingers. As we do, we're going to lift the elbows up toward the ceiling, bearing your armpits just a bit and reaching your arms forward. Letting your head drop down towards your heart. Turning your heels with your hands away. Extend the arms up in the direction of the ears. Now bring your palms down together right in front of your heart with palms touching. One easy breath. And again, inhalation your fingers. And on the inhalation, float the elbows up. Exhale, lengthening the arms forward. Reaching through your knuckles. Keep the chest lifted, relax your head down. Turning the heels and the hands away. On an in-breath, extend the arms up in the direction of the ears. On the out breath, palms come together to rest in front of the sternum. Easy breath in, easy breath out. One more time if you like. Interlace fingers. On the inhalation, float the elbows out. On the exhalation, lengthen the arms with the chest lifted, relax your head down, heels of the hands away. Float the arms up in the direction of your ears. Exhale, palms together in front of your chest. We'll pause here, sensing and feeling this experience once again. We'll have a nice long spine. If we're tired, go ahead, lift your spine back up through the crown of your head. Let both arms dangle down by side body. Fingertips looking at the floor. Now we're going to rotate the right arm away from your side body. On the in breath, we're going to extend your arm toward the right ear as we breathe out. Soften your arm toward the torso, keeping the arm lifted. Let the weight be evenly balanced through your pelvis. As we begin to arc over to the left, You may notice your right buttock has become a little lighter on the seat. Let's ground down through that right buttock if it has. Take a nice nourishing breath in to the right ribs and the right waist. When you're ready, on an in breath, come back up into the centre. On an out breath, Reach your right arm out to the right and let it come to rest to the side body. Recommit to the centre. Sitting evenly on the base of the pelvis and we take the left arm out to the side body. Breathing in and extending the left arm out and up in the direction of the left ear as you breathe out and soften your shoulder just a little bit and begin to arc the spine over to the right lengthening through the left side body and remember to keep both sides of the pelvis steady in your chair and you're really heavy in the seat. Welcome breath into the left side body. Into the ribs and the waist. And we 
forward, come back up into the center on an in breath. And on an out breath, relax the left arm down, feeling the body release. Now scoop the hips forward in your chair a bit. We want to make sure the weight of the pelvis is behind the front lip of the chair. Have your feet on the floor underneath your knees and use your fingertips to feel into your hip hinge, that place where the thighs meet the pelvis. And for a moment, let's just grow our spine long. Just practice lengthening the spine long and hinging forward through the hips. So the fingertips will get pinched just a little bit. Come back up. Keeping the spine nice and long. And hinge the hips. Feeling that area right there getting narrower. Where the thighs meet the pelvis. Lengthen back up once again. And then fold through the hips. Not too far. We want to do it in such a way that the spine stays nice and long. Nice and neutral. And where the spine doesn't begin to curl forward. Now come back up into an upright position. We're going to add the legs. So this time we're going to lengthen up through the spine. And we're going to begin to hinge forward through the hips. And as we do, we're going to press firmly into the soles of the feet as if we're going to come to standing. And let all of that go. Bring the spine back up into neutral position. Right over the pelvis. And we're going to try that a few more times. So on an in breath, lengthen up through the spine. As we breathe out, hinge through the hips. Pressing the feet firmly into the ground. Feel the lower body activate. And relax that and unhinge through your hips. Inhale. Let your spine grow nice and tall. Exhale. Hinge forward through the hips. Press firmly into your feet. Feel the lower body enliven and relax it down. Feel free to play with that movement a few more times. Not only practicing these is really good body mechanics for standing, we're also cultivating the strength in the lower body. and find your way back into a relaxed seating position. Arms by your side body. This time, let's extend the arms out to the side, out to the horizon, and cross your arms in front of your body. Right over left. Fingers might rest on the opposite shoulder or a little bit further into the back body, whatever is comfortable. Keep the spine extended. We want to avoid curling forward with a very gentle quality of motion. We're going to rock the spine to the right, then to the left.
making it easy and gentle movement. And find your way back into the center. Extend the arms out to the side. And as you breathe out, just let the arms relax back down, hands in your lap. This time we're going to hold sides of the seat just behind the hips. We're going to shrug the shoulders back up and down and lengthen the sternum. We're going to keep the chin tucked in slightly to the throat. So we're not going to be dropping the head back. And as we come into the seated back bend, notice how the back body engages to support the movement. Noticing the quality of breath. And noticing whatever is arising. And then we'll release. And return into a neutral sitting, practicing staying present, being interested in the undoing as the doing. Let's shuffle our backs toward the back of the chair and let's get comfy and supportive. Feel free to place a blanket or a pillow against the back of the chair if you need that support. So I invite you to feel the support of the chair. Feel the support of the community around you. Relax into that support. Feel the support of the breath that nourishes you. Relax into that support. Bringing your attention back into the room. See if you can stay connected. And recognise the sense of stillness in your breath. See if you can share that sense of stillness to others. Bring your hands to heart. Namaste. I hope you enjoyed my practice.